Hello and welcome to a new video about augmented reality. This time we are doing a Wuforia experience for our 3D headset, eh? for our HoloLens. Eh? Up to now we used our 2D systems, yeah? our handheld devices, smartphone, tablets, stuff like that. Yeah? Now we are going to use 3D system. This means actually we have to add a new project. We cannot use the old one, huh? because the old one was 2D project. Now we want to use 3D eyewear project. So we will start, we'll start with a new project. Yeah? So we will simply press plus here, huh? 3D eyewear. This is the project which we are going to use. Select. Now we have to give the project a name. And remember, there is in school there is this naming convention. Yeah. And I will call this Holo. The experience service URL, this should be already. Perfect, yeah, since we configured it last time. So this is this is now my new project. School, number, class, name, and then holo. Make the new project. Actually, you are not going to see a lot different. It looks exactly the same. Exactly the same. Or there are some application things. I will simply exclude them from a few and they are out of sight for now. Yeah? For now. I will rename my view. Yeah? I will rename this and I will call it a crane. Because we want to do a crane. Okay? Good. We already used picture target, we already used spatial target, now we're going to use a thing mark target. Okay? Thing mark target, we pull it in, book, yeah, there it is. Uh, we have to give the thing mark a number. Okay, we have to give the thing mark a number and we are going to use the same thing mark. We're going to use the same thing marks. And now we have to give the, the width of the mark. Yeah? So this is actually like if this would be a hexagon nut, yeah? the width of the hexagon nut. And I have a printout hanging here, you will see it afterwards. I have a printout hanging here and it's 10 centimeters. Yeah? So I will write 10 centimeters. And I want to tilt it. Yeah? Zero degree. Hmm. This is how it should look like. So it's mounted at the wall or something like this. Hmm. It's mounted at the wall and this is how I want to have this. This is my target hmm. with this thing mark number. If this thing mark with the space or width 10 centimeters is seen somewhere, we will. this is our reference point now. Okay. Now we're adding two resources. Okay. We're adding two resources. Yeah. Windmill not. This this time we're going to use the crane. I will use wind plate, uh, wall plate, and and the the arm open. Uh, these two object I'm objects I'm going to use. Uh huh. Uh -huh they are still on <laughs> one drive, so they are going to get downloaded. There they are. There they are. Both are here. Uh, so I will add a model. Back, yeah. First thing I am using the mounting plate. Yeah. This is the mounting plate. I will uh, have a look if this ooh, is already pretty big, right? I want to have this exactly at the thing mark. So I will rotate in 
uh, this is y, yeah, 90 degree. Okay, minus 90 degree would have been correct. Minus 90 degree, alrighty. Yeah, then uh, z, I want to have zero. Yeah, okay, x, x, I also want to have zero. Yeah. Now, let's zoom in here. Yeah. Yes, we are exactly, there's the thing mark, and if it's, uh, I don't like it, I want to, the thing mark to be on the wall, so I have to add set a little bit, 0 0.1, let's see where we are, oh, that's much too far. Uh, I should know the, the module, the model, right? Is it 3 millimeters? Uh, not 22.5 millimeters, it looks good. This looks good. It looks like we are in one level. Is three millimeters better? Yes. Yes, this looks perfect now. Three millimeters. Okay. So if this is mounted at the wall, this thing shall be presented exactly that way. So this is the mounting plate. Good. Now let's call this change the studio ID target thing mark ready and this is studio ID model model plate ready okay. and I will add a second model now back yeah. and the second model is the arm. Good. We also have to spin this around y. Yeah, also minus 90 probably. Yes. Yeah. And now we are going to move it in x direction. Zero would be good. Yeah. And the rest I have to look up. And I have to look up and see that it fits perfect. Yeah. I will move it in z direction a little bit. No, already does not look too bad. Move it also in y direction. Uh, looks a little bit far. There is the bearing. Let's see how this looks like at the top. How does it look at the top? No, must go down. Ah, this looks now, this looks now nice, I guess. Yes, there is, ah, okay, okay, so this looks, this looks pretty nice, yeah? So there is the arm. The arm is now in place, yeah? This is our crane. This is our crane, actually. Let's see. Save it. Huh? Let's see if we can make a preview. Preview is working as well. Yes. Looking nice, I would say. Looking nice. Okay. I'm satisfied. The only thing we have to do is to also implement here uh, the thing mark, which will be again of the same number uh, crane uh, a wall crane make let, let's make a little bit description okay no yeah, actually let's save it and let's and let's 
publish it. Huh? Publish. Username and password. Of course. Publishing. It's working. Ooh, I forgot something. Ooh, I forgot something. Let's switch to this page. I want to make this public again. Okay, I want to make this public again. Uh, yeah, publish again. Huh? Because I do not want to enter password here on HoloLens. Huh? Publishing, ready published. Huh? Ooh, it's called Model 2. Ha! from hoodle uh, this is because I I'm rushing yeah? call it model arm ready uh, save publish yes luckily it works uh, publish now it looks nice uh, everything has a name a certain name a certain studio ID past uh, good published and now Let's switch to the future. <laughs> I need to start this up. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so now I'm wearing the HoloLens. Yeah? What I need to do is to start with Warrior View on the HoloLens. So I will open the start menu okay then I will simply start with four of you before I will automatically switch to full screen mode there's also full screen mode huh? and after before I switch to full screen mode I also have to scan uh, to set the experience URL huh? I will scan this experience URL here on my computer. Yeah? So I will scan this. Uh, let's see if this is working. QR code. No. Why is this not? working maybe i have to zoom in a little bit ah uh, yes experience service url set this is nice that this is set yeah uh, now i have to scan the thing mark the thing mark i put it here yeah should be able i hope uh, it's good. Ah, it's already loading. Loading experience three zero two four six seven underscore three. Look at thing mark. underscore hollow. Look at thing mark, and here it is. Here is the crane. Whoa! Huge crane. Huge crane. Whoa! <laughs> it's mounted. Okay, it's mounted at the window. But I just placed this, this thing mark there, this printed out thing mark. And here you see the crane in my, in my room, this crane is mounted. Now I have really an impression how big this thing is, right? I can get up and look a little bit closer. This must be, this must look a little bit strange for you now. Yeah? But here you see, I can really have a look at the crane it's working nice and it's really stable and everything so this is well this looks impressive because it really looks three-dimensional for me okay yeah this is how this is looking it would be nice if we could move this crane but we cannot mount any sliders or something like this. Yeah? We have to do it with gestures. Yeah? We have to do it with signs. Yeah? 
how this is working and and how we can implement this in our in our experience we will learn in next video for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye